Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. How are you? On this Monday morning, it is the 24th day of April. It's in the low 50s as I make this. I should be wearing a jacket, but, uh, you know, the reason it's still cool is because of that upper low that is about 20,000 feet above us, which has been controlling Alabama's weather right on through the weekend. Brought us a little rain, not much, but about what we expected. That'll be rolling out of here later on today. Very interesting weather week for the country as a whole and for Alabama too. I think it's going to be a big severe weather week for America. And um, here in Alabama, I'm most concerned about a frontal system that arrives on Thursday that could have some strong storms with it as it moves through, and particularly a storm system next Sunday night. I know that's way out there, but uh, it, it definitely could have some severe weather. Have you got a minute or two? Crazy weather week. We'll talk about it now with your toast and coffee. Here we go. So the rain has left the state now over in eastern Georgia and the Carolinas, and the surface cold front has almost reached Savannah. That's what's happening on the surface. Then up at 20,000 feet, there's that upper low I was talking about. It looks like a bowling ball. There's where it'll be at 1 o'clock this afternoon over Columbus, Georgia, slowly lumbering away. And uh, because it's around us, uh, the clouds will be tough to get rid of. So I'll say mostly cloudy today with a high around 75. Some improvement later on in the afternoon and towards evening. Low tonight, 56. Northwest winds will be light today, but we should be dry. Sunny and warm weather returns tomorrow. Big coastal storm in the Carolinas. That's going to be a big deal. It's going to produce a lot of rainfall and a lot of winds. Uh, Wednesday, a warm, dry day, quiet day. We're looking at that rain out to the west of us on Wednesday, though. There's the frontal system that could bring some strong storms uh, to the state on Thursday. I think um, some strong to severe storms are certainly a possibility on Thursday. Then on Friday, we're back behind that front. Temperatures soaring maybe approaching 90 isolated afternoon storms possible uh, we'll look for it mid 80s tomorrow mid 80s on wednesday dry both days and then thursday showers and thunderstorms especially in the uh, midday and afternoon hours then friday a slight chance of a storm perhaps near 90 upper 80s uh, on saturday with a maybe a, a, an isolated storm but here's the next big deal this is the storm system we're, ha- we're going to have to watch it sunday night affecting many states and coming in uh, just to the west of us on sunday evening here's seven o'clock sunday night strong storms through mississippi it'll uh, move in in the overnight hours here uh, we could have you know all modes of severe weather possible i know it's about a week out so we'll just watch it for now And uh, this is the same storm system that could bring the biggest snowstorm of the year to Colorado. And here it is, springtime, and we're talking about the biggest storm of the uh, the biggest snowstorm they've seen so far. Heat building this week, so there's the storm storm system on Thursday, and the heat in between Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday, the big storm system coming in on Sunday night, and then it turns cooler back behind that front. The GFS is even suggesting some low 90s, perhaps. Uh, as we get late in the week and into the weekend, it's not out of the question. Uh, it's certainly temperatures will be soaring all through the eastern U.S. Uh, ahead of that next storm system that comes in Sunday night. By the way, the drought outlook through um, the next couple of months uh, until the end of July is not looking good for the southeastern U.S. Looks like a building drought situation, according to the Climate Prediction Center. Download our new weather app with a couple of storm systems that need to be watched this week. Make sure you have it on your phone yet. I know a lot of you are intending to do that, but just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, Go to the App Store, search Rich Thomas Weather. It's for iOS and also for Google Play, uh, Android. Hey, thanks to all of you who participated in our little weather app poll yesterday. Uh, A lot of you have already downloaded the weather app and you're very happy with it. I'm glad to see that. There are many others who are been thinking about it, just haven't had a chance to get it on their phone yet. I understand that. Uh, This would be a good week to get that on your phone. Hey, I'll be live on the radio this morning uh, from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1 with Greg, Jay, and Emily, and that dog right there, Bailey. She goes with me every morning. And, of course, uh, whenever you want it, uh, when you're out and about, your forecast across the dial on eight radio stations. That would be the Blue Water family of radio stations. There will be another video for you first uh, thing tomorrow morning, bright and early. Usually it's online by about 445, certainly no later than 5 o'clock. Have a good one. I'll see you later. Rich Thomas Weather.